how's it guys Manash here and today I just wanted to do a quick showcase of Red Goblin with Odin's pre-fight abilities because they make a pretty significant difference to his damage output. So I'm on the CC beta and I'm just ranking up my 5 star Red Goblin since I already have a 6 star who is rank 3 on this server. Um, so I'm going to be using the 5 star mostly just to test this out and I'm actually going to compare him with the rank 3 6 star. So for those of you who don't know Odin has 3 pre-fight abilities where basically he allows any champ who goes into the fight to start the fight with a permanent buff. So the first one is Aptitude, increasing potency of Fury, Armor Up and Precision buffs by 13%. Then the second one is a Protection buff, which prevents you from losing more than 80% of your max health from a single source, unless it's a Special 3, which will also remove the buff. Would have been really cool if it also included special 3s, but I don't know, maybe they thought that would be a little bit too powerful. Like, the Axe 636 Captain America Infinity War boss would be so much easier if it worked like that. Then the third and final one is a shock resistance buff, which increases your shock resistance by 80%. So that's a pretty unique one. Not sure how much it will get used for the actual resistance, but it's pretty useful if you want to do a shock path or EMP modification with pretty much any champ who isn't shock immune. So the reason why these buffs make such a big difference for Red Goblin is because he places a debuff for each buff that he has. And if it isn't an aptitude or fury buff, he will place an incinerate debuff. So with these buffs from Odin, he will be able to place 3 incinerate debuffs whenever he drops a heavy attack. So you can stack a lot of incinerates with Red Goblin, which is no joke because they can do some serious damage when you're in frenzy. So now we're gonna jump into good old Realm of Legends and I'm not gonna show the Winter Soldier fight just because his AI was a little bit inconsistent between the two fights. So I'm just gonna skip to Captain Marvel but I first wanted to show you that I am placing the crossfight abilities and you can only place them once per quest so whatever champ goes into that fight will have those buffs for the rest of the quest. Basically it works like Apocalypse's horseman ability. Okay so now we at the main event. In the blue corner, weighing at 100 sig levels, we have a rank 3 6 star red goblin. And in the red corner, weighing at 60 sig levels, we have a rank 5 5 star red goblin. So the 5 star is coming in as the underdog in this matchup, but with the Odin crossfight abilities, he might just surprise some people. So I have the two fights playing side by side while I display their stats at the top. And what I try to do is make them as consistent as I can. So I use the exact same playstyle and try to time things the same way. The only major difference is that the 5 star has a higher combat power rate than the 6 star because it's a higher rank, but all I'm really comparing is the fight after the special 3 because that's when the fight really begins with Red Goblin. So I just cut out a bit of the time the 6 star took to get to 3 bars. There are a few other variables that I couldn't make consistent such as crit RNG, and the 6 star will naturally hit much harder than the 5 star and will have the lead for most of the fight but then you're gonna see the 5 star catch up just because you'll be able to place a lot more incinerate debuffs also I used a very standard rotation for this fight I didn't actually drop that many heavy attacks I think I only dropped one in total so I could have made the difference even bigger if I used the parry heavy centric playstyle but I decided to keep it simple here and save that for the next video where we take him into the abyss Okay, so now the real fight begins. Six star gets hit by a special one, which might seem like a small slip up from my part, but it was actually a strategic maneuver for my grandmaster plan to give him more power by getting hit, just so he has an easier time keeping up with the five stars power gain. <laughs> lol. Okay, so I'm about to throw a special two now, and the six star is gonna throw it slightly earlier than the five star, which is fine, and you can see how much harder the six star special two hits compared to the five star. But the 5 star is able to place more incinerate debuffs so the damage over time will be better. Drop a heavy attack with the 6 star which places 3 incinerates and 3 armor breaks because we did have 6 buffs and 3 of them were fury buffs. Then on the 5 star side I only drop a heavy at the end because I had a good special 1 which places 6 incinerates and 5 armor breaks. Because I had 11 buffs and 5 of them were furies. Then I just go passive and let the incinerates take him out but yeah the fights basically finish at the same time. So not a perfect scientific experiment but still a pretty good comparison in terms of just how much better his damage output is when he can place more incinerates thanks to the Odin crossfights. So I will be doing a few more showcases maybe with some different champs for some of them but for now thank you for watching have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon.